So this is a round of 16 game here in go for SC2 Monday. 75 euros on the line, a spot in those monthly finals, and we've got a nice little bit of ZVP to be starting things off. It's the round of 16, it's still a best of one, it's best of three from the quarterfinals onwards. And spawning, up in the top right hand position of Deadwing. He plays for Team Acer, he's the Red Zerg, it's Nurcio. And his opponent down to the bottom left, the yellow Protoss player, it's Monty. So, this should be a fun little ZVP. It's an absolutely huge map. Worth noting, the Monty. Moving out nice and early here. Going to go on a little adventure. Try and scout out his opponent. Where he's going to be going. What he's going to be checking for. But not going to scout Nurcio first. Nurcio's in the cross-spawn position. Now, why is Deadwing a massive macro-orientated map? Well, this isn't too hard to defend. Sure, there's the debris at the back that you can come into the natural. But hey... That takes a while to get down. Your third base, again, you can just kind of chill around here. And then your third and natural is safe. And, well, if you're already defending here, you might as well take a fourth base. Because that's just all defended from here. And then suddenly you're on four bases. And you're like, ah, oh, that was easy peasy. I guess I've got a great economy now. Let's make Broodlord Ultralisk Infester because I got all the dollars. Of course, the same goes for Monty, though. Monty is going to be able to get up to those at least three bases really quite simply, if I'm honest with you. Um, it's just so easy getting up to three bases of Protoss. Um, it's really quite simple. Monty, he's even feeling very brave. He's going to be going for the Nexus first. And the reason he's doing that is because Deadwing doesn't have horizontal spawns. That's impossible. It's only vertical or cross. Therefore, he's coming up here to check. He goes, okay, well, my opponent's not in the close spawns, which means he's cross spawns, which means I should be completely safe going for a uh, Nexus first. And nothing bad could ever possibly happen to me. At least that's his hope. That's what he's hoping he'll be able to get away with, and if he can get away with it, he's going to be very, very happy about it. Anyway, quick little check around now by the probe. He goes, all right, spawning pool is coming on down, so that means the spawning pool was first. He was playing it a bit safer, so already I've got myself a little edge in terms of this game. I've got a slightly better economy than Nurcio. Should be good times. Nurcio, though, he's also got some options to get down a nice little bit of pressure he's got of course lings that could be coming on out if he so wanted he's gonna have his queen out sooner which means he's gonna have the inject have a couple more lava and yeah that is gonna be good someone is seriously lagging this is annoying someone is like massively lagging and it is definitely not me um so yeah we've got at the moment uh just that hatch Coming on down, so a quick third hatch from Nurcio. When was that actually started? If we take a quick look. Yeah, okay, so it was before the four minute mark. Nice and early. Everything's really safe. And um, what's this actually in response? Let's take a look at what Nurcio sees. Um, so he doesn't know about that. Nexus first, will now. Sends in a couple of lings actually. And note that while there is a zealot out, there's only the one. And these lings are just going to split themselves up quite nicely. That's going to be a little bit annoying. Backing on out now, these lings. Two still down in the natural base. This is preventing some mining from Monty. Nurture not really actually going to get close to losing these Zerglings. So that's obviously really nice for him. Coming around at the moment. Just checking. Nurture not actually done any damage with these Zerglings yet. But he has delayed mining time. And that in itself is a bit of a win actually. Because you'd be surprised how quickly that starts adding up in Lost Minerals. First Blood. Goes through there to Monty, managing to pick off one of those Zerglings. The second one, probably not going to survive with his life. No. Gets popped. Always a bit annoying. Otherwise, Nurcio should start just droning up pretty heavily now. His third, ne uh, third hatchery is finished up. So he should be absolutely safe there. Still checking about Monty. Just backing away. Trying to play a little game of chicken with these Zerglings. Nurcio tried to juke him out. Probably not going to get too far with this. One goes down. One Zergling really isn't too threatening. Probes can deal with that. Wall of Source completed. That pylon will just get cancelled to prevent any scout. Uh, worth noting there's only two gateways, but two more are getting queued up up the back here. Drone uh, Probes have been pulled out of gas as well, so this was all a fake. This is going to be a lot of zealots coming in. We see already the chrono boosts. What has Nurcio seen? Well, he's seen the two gases. That could be a bit of a problem for him. It depends if he suspects this is coming. There really isn't much gas for Monty. Nurcio, though, he's gone gasless until now. His first two extractors only just getting taken this second. 
Couple of queens forcing this back. Prylon already on his way down for Monty. Losing the Zealot is going to be a little bit annoying, but he manages to just keep it alive. 2 HP is very minimal amounts of health, but it's 2 more than it needs to be effective. Those shields will just start regenerating their way back on up. Going to mean that it can still tank up a bit of damage when the fight eventually commences. Now, Nurtio is coming forward. He sees these pylons coming down, knows that something's up. Unfortunately, he's going to lose both of these overlords. That is a big problem because this is heavily supply blocking Nurtio at this stage. He's having to frantically remake those overlords. And that's actually really irritating for him. He's making a spine or a second spine up the front here. He's got a couple of queens about. He knows that he needs to hold here. This hold won't be too tough for him because of these spines. It will certainly help him. But yeah, waiting to see if Monty's going to be able to go for this. Only a handful of lings. They don't have speed either. And they were getting trapped behind. Lovely positioning for Monty there. Couple of transfuses coming on through now from Nurtio. He's doing everything that he can to keep that spine caller up. Does pick off the majority of those zealots at the front. The queen's dealing a good amount of damage. The second spine caller is now finished. Although it will be quickly focused down in exchange for a stalker. Another stalker incredibly low on health. That could easily get picked off. A couple more overlords there. 30 lings though. Eight roaches popping on through. The roaches of course going to be quite weak up against these stalkers but very strong against the zealots which are now starting to fall the queens backing away nicely there's some good control being shown here by Nurtio. a lot more lings coming on in speed is still about 18 seconds away from completion but with the roaches here with the queens doing a good amount of damage Nurtio is really showing to be in a very very strong spot stalkers backing away another wave of warpins trying to come on through this is obviously a very committed build by Monty. He doesn't really have anything to follow it up. Good amount of damage being done by these roaches. Picking up some more zealots. We can see the resources lost really reflecting that. The work count in Nurtio's advantage. Nurtio pushing through. There's the GG. Good luck. And Monty's two base. Mass gateway all in. Not going to work out for him. And Nurtio will advance into the quarterfinals.